Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to a botany circle. Today we'll be focusing on the parts of the fruit. This is one of our favorite lessons. If you're doing this at home, you can have a taste test of fruit you have in your house. First, we're going to go over the parts of the fruit. So here I have a plum, and here on the inside of it, I have the parts of the fruit. You can very clearly see them, even if you look at a, a, a fruit that you cut in half, you can see the parts. So let's start going over those parts. First, we have the fruit, of course, is the whole thing. Remember, the fruit is grown out of the blossom of the flower. When the flower becomes fertilized, the ovum inside the flower grows into the fruit. So that's where the fruit comes from. The first part of the fruit is the entire part of the fruit is called a pericarp. That's all the layers of the fruit. So on our fruit here, the pericarp is all the layers. The outside, the middle, the inside, the seed, all together they are called the pericarp. Say that with me, pericarp. Very good. Now we start going into the different layers of the fruit. The first layer, the outside, the skin of the fruit, is called the exocarp. Say that with me, exocarp. Good. The skin on the outside. On this plum, the exocarp is dark, it's smooth, it helps keep some moisture in the water inside the fruit, makes it very juicy. So you can see the exocarp is very thin and it goes around the outside of the fruit. The next layer is called the mesocarp or mesocarp. Say that with me, mesocarp. Mesocarp is the middle. Think of meso or meso as the middle, or also as the meat of the fruit. That's what it's called sometimes. The middle layer, we can see that is very thick, very juicy in fruit. That's the part that we really like to eat, the meat of the fruit. You can see that's where all the moisture is. And as we go inside of it, the next layer down is called the endocarp. That's on the inside, or the end of the fruit. Endocarp, repeat after me, endocarp, is a layer that houses the seed. We can see the endocarp on the plum as this part right here, a little darker part. You can see the indentation where the seed was right there. That's the endocarp. Its job is to house the seed inside the fruit. Usually it's a bit more tough, got a lot of veins going to it, because that part's job is to protect the seed from being hurt. And of course, the very inside of all fruit, the whole purpose of the fruit in the first place, is the seed. The seed is protected and housed by all the different layers. The exocarp, the mesocarp, the endocarp, and the seed in the middle. So here in our plum, we have the seed still there, right here, inside all of this. Remember, the whole point of fruit is to get the seed to be planted in the ground. So all these layers of juice, and, and nice meat and food. This is all just to get the seed to be eaten by someone or an animal or something and get that seed to be planted somewhere else. So, review. The whole fruit is, well, just the fruit. We know what that is. The, all the layers together is called the pericarp. When you hear pericarp, it means all the layers of the fruit. The outside layer, the skin, is the exocarp. The mesocarp, or mesocarp, is the middle, the juicy part, the meat of the fruit. The endocarp is the area inside. It's a bit tougher. And the seed is the seed. <laughs> its job is to make sure the new plant grows. And there we go. That's the end of our lesson. Now, for your work, you could do something like this. You can you can make a drawing of a fruit of your choice. The good ones will be mm, a peach, a plum like we have here, an apricot. These are all good because they have a very large pit or seed in the middle. And then we can do some writing about them. Try to write at least one sentence about each part of the fruit, okay? And what's good is you can have a taste test of your fruit when you're done. So good luck, have fun, thanks for coming.